Hey guys, how you doing? It's your boy Serrano. Um, here today, um, the question everybody really wants to know is, is the LG Stylo 3 um, going to be a better phone than um, the LG Stylo 2, 2 Plus, and the original LG Stylo? The, um, that's the real question. Is the phone um, worth getting over the current phones that we have right now, which are all the pro predecessors of the three? Um, so that's what this video today is about. Also, everyone wants to know where is 7.0 Nougat for this for um, the LG Stylo 2 Plus and um, I am still waiting with you guys. I do not have that um, feature, that Android system, uh, software in my phone yet. So I'm still waiting for that with you guys. But um, the real question here is um, which phone out of these two phones is going to be better? Now, the reason I'm comparing the Stylo 2 Plus instead of the Stylo 2 from boost mobile is because um it's clear um that it's a better um improvement over the um the two because um if you currently have the two though and you are thinking of getting the three just stick with the two but um there is a minor improvements because of the fingerprint scanner but it's still going to be um also the the processor of the um the stylo 2 is only quad core and the new stylo 3 is uh octa core so that's why um I'm not comparing those phones I'm comparing um the stylo 3 with the stylo 2 plus because those phones are more similar when it comes to the features they're both octa core phones so um let's go ahead and scroll down as you can see here it says the Stylo uh, 3 full specification and this from Boost Mobile and the Stylo 2 Plus smartphone full, uh, full specification. Um, here you see a, a rating from one some some of the um, people on this website. As you could see, um, the Stylo 3. <clears throat> has a, a 0.3 um, over the Stylo 2 Plus. And we're going to go scroll down and we're going to check out all the full specifications now that they're official and there's no more speculation as to what the specifications are. We could uh, just look at them right down below now. And these are the ones that um, are on the phones here on the U.S. variants in the with the Stylo 2 Plus being from Metro PCS and the Boost Mobile being from um, the the Metro the Stylo 3 being from Boost Mobile. So I just went back by accident. Let me um, go back to that menu. Okay. Okay. So now here we have. Let me get that out of the way. Okay. They're both LG uh, smartphones, Androids, Android smartphones. Um, here we have the device pro proclamation date when it was um, proclaimed to be released. The Stylo 3 was um, proclaimed to be released January 6th. The Stylo 2 Plus from Metro PCS was proclaimed to be released. July eleventh, two thousand seven, uh, sixteen. Um. In addition to that, the product released um January seventeenth, uh, which is like two weeks after the proclamation date. And um, the Stylo Two Plus released three days later after the, on the fourteenth of July, uh, two thousand sixteen. Um. It says here, product availability status. Um, 
here you can see it says launching coming soon um as of today march 22nd the phone has been released since um i believe it was either the 14th or the 13th i think the 14th of this month so that phone you can get now on the boost mobile website um definitely you could check that out as well um so it's available the stylo 2 plus is available um for a hundred dollars now here you can see it says it's listed at 170 and the the stylo 3 is available for 179 so as you can see they priced the stylo 3 um a little bit higher nine dollars which is like 10 bucks which is pretty much the same thing so here you could see that um the stylo 3 it says it um has a fingerprint uh, sensor and that is correct it does have a fingerprint sensor um as you could see here that this variant that they're um comparing the stylo 3 to is is a uh, it says that it doesn't have a fingerprint scanner, but that's um, in the U.S. The version of the U.S. variant for Metro PCS has a fingerprint scanner along with the one from T-Mobile. So um, both devices do have fingerprint scanners um, here in the U.S. Um, they're not waterproof. Let's take a look at the dimensions. As you can see, the length, width, and the height um, are pretty much going to be the same, giving the slightly a slight edge to the Stylo 3 in, in length, height, and thickness. Um, and weight also. They're both going to rock Gorilla Glass 3. Um, you could see here the budget body color. The Stylo 3 comes in the rose gold and the brown. And the Stylo 2 Plus, here it says, comes in the brown. And I know it's for sure it comes in the black as well, um, limited. And it was a released later on in the black color the, for the Stylo 2 Plus. Um, mater the device's body material here, it says, is metal. Um, I believe that is incorrect. It's actually um, made of plastic. Um, really, really, really strong um, premium plastic, but the device is, is super lightweight compared to most phones. Um, its size, both phones, they they weigh close to the, the, the lightest in their category of um, phones any to any 7.5.7 inch phone these phones would be the lightest in any um if you compared them to any phone just like um with the same dimensions so that's a plus because when you hold it in your hand it it's less chance of it falling out of your hand due to gravity and weight because it feels less light and you can move it around and it's like really it just stays with your hand really well especially on the stylo 2 plus that i'm rocking right now it has like these grippers on the back like ridges um definitely um i have to say that the design on the stylo 2 plus is better due to the fact that the volume rocker is on the back and um on the stylo 3 they move the volume rocker over to the um to the side of it and um, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of that, especially me. Um, I, I I was hoping that those pictures that they released when they showed the Stylo 3 with the volume rockers on the side of it, I was hoping that that was false. But um, ladies and gentlemen, they, they changed the body of the um, Stylo. And um, you be the judge. But um, in, for my personal preference... It was definitely a better body on the Stylo 2 Plus. Just looking at it, I'm using the Stylo 2 Plus now, and I haven't even touched the Stylo 3 yet. But just looking at it, I could already see that um, 
I, I prefer to have the Stylo 2 Plus in my hand just as far as um, body goes. So they both are rocking the same exact screen and uh, resolution and pixels are basically going to be identical. Um, both having the HD display of 250. Here it says 8. Some, some scores have got 257. So that's, pr that's um, pretty accurate. Um, scratch resistant curve three two um two point D curve glass, which means that the edges would be curved. Um, to say that it's two D glass though, I don't I don't really know if that's correct because I'm looking at it now and I have a. I have a um tempered glass on my screen, so that rises up a, a bit, but um in my opinion the screen is completely flat. So um it says here that it has t t 2D curved glass. Um let me take a look. The um 72% body ratio on both phones because they're identical. They have identical cameras. The only difference would be that the autofocus is inside of the Stylo 3. Um, I, and it says that it has touch focus as well, which uh, here it says that the Stylo 2 Plus does not. They're both rocking 1080p, 30 frames per second. Um, the aperture, I believe, is 2.0 on both. Um, but I could be wrong. Let's see. Also, they both um, have similar features except for um, the settings mode and the camera. As you could see, Paul Tech's video, when he covered the camera and the gyroscope inside of the um, Stylo 3, that was really cool. Thank you, Paul Tech. He covered that phone um, very well and in depth. Um, here you could see some additional features to the the phone. It it also always had the gesture shot with the face um, beauty mode. We could actually scroll it left and right to ex intensify the beauty mode on the Stylo 2 Plus. Um, I haven't gotten the Stylo 3 in my hands, but if you haven't seen how the the video or the camera works, check out. Paul Tech's video on the camera as well. Um, here you could see that the chipset is different. Um, the hardware is going to be a little bit more uh, advanced, slightly advanced. Uh, sl they're both rock and octa-core. One has the the 1.5 and the other has the 1.4 so as you could see they didn't jump it up that much it's still in the um 430 series of the snapdragon the so it's in the 400s which i've seen a lot of people who said that it should at least have been in the 600 range and i agree but um it's still a slight um, sl tiny, tiny, tiny improvement, which will make the performance better on the games. Um, everything else, uh, the RAM will help with the functionality of the Stylo 3 as well over top of the, um, Stylo 2 Plus. But, um, right now the Stylo 2 Plus, um, you really have to like do a lot to get it to even try to lag i've never like i haven't seen my phone really lag um you know the stylo 2 plus is just um as smooth as a whistle um so yeah you can't this phone is super smooth um but the three gigs of ram on the stylo 3 gives it a slight advantage um but um if you're a current user rocking the stylo 2 um, the quad core and jump up to the octa core is something that you should think about if you, if you've ever experienced lag on your phone, if you've never experienced any lag on your stylo two from boost or, or virgin 
and you're good with the quad core, then just stick with that. Because, um, you know, octa core is only for gamers, really, if you want to, you know, jump jump into like uh, Grand Theft Auto or NBA 2K Live. That's that's those are the type of games that um, p- people would be attracted to, to if they got the Stylo 3 because they ha- this has the Snapdragon as opposed to the M you know TK uh 6750 so um here you can see they both have expandable memory um up to 2 terabytes um as well as um both rocking the 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 one has the the they both have 3G 4G 2G bands as well as uh and their exact duplicate in that realm with the sim and nano type one no actually one rocks the sim uh the nano sim which is the stylo 3 and now that's that's a nano sim it's no longer the micro so it looks like all phones are jumping to the nano um in 2017 but um that's the only difference it seems like um I you confirm that again on Paul Tech's review. Um, here you could see the operating system of the Stylo 3 has the Nougat right out the box, which is, you know, going to be able to allow, give you the ability to move apps to SD card um, without that backup feature that LG just updated on the Stylo 2 Plus. You don't really need that with um, the Stylo 3 because it allows you the ability to um, manipulate apps on from SD, from, um, from, from internal to SD. So that's, that's one of the advantages. The operating system on the Stylo 2 Plus has the Android 6.0.1 and it could be any day now that we're getting the um Android 7.0 um I'm still waiting for that look out for a review of that nougat on the stylo 2 plus when it comes out on my channel you could like and subscribe now just so you can get those notifications um they're both rocking social media right out the box um you're getting that facebook you're getting video sharing for youtube and if you're a blogger you could jump on the twitter it also has google play stores google maps which is smooth as a whistle on the um stylo 2 plus one of my favorite um functionalities is the maps on that phone how, how clean it is and um the network is amazing on Metro PCS um, with that LTE blazing fast network, um, which is definitely rocking out on the T-Mobile network. So um, here we can see that there is um, a flashlight, a clock, a calendar, Facebook, a calculator, a note, a notebook, which is actually quick. Um, what is it? Quick notes or quick uh quick memo you also got the world clock with the og apps and the st- uh, the stopwatch inside of there uh calculators are going to be on both as well as calendars i don't know why they said that the stylo 2 plus doesn't have a calendar that's incorrect they actually both have phone books so that's um that's weird that they just like xed out the stylo 2 plus there I would jump up the rating on the Stylo Two Plus to a um to a um eight point three and tie it with the Stylo Three just because of the fact that it has NFC right out of box and um the Stylo Three doesn't, so it's it has that feature advantage right there for all the NFC guys that who you know want to be all high tech and pay for things with your phone. Um, here you can see the multimedia features on all the video support, audio support. You're going to get GIFs, NPJs, MP- BMPs, and JPEGs, all that good stuff. Um, FM radio, check, and ringtones preloaded. 
both phones support music player. I don't know why these guys put an X there. Um, so both phones have music player. Both phones have video player. You could just forget about that X. Two X's that you see. Make those green. Actually, let me pull out my stylo pen here for you guys. And um, there was a slight lag there just because of the video. But like, let me do a screen capture. And um, let me let me get a the right color here, which is green. And I'm gonna color that green right there. All right, so yeah. Let's pretend we never saw those red marks. All right, so here we have um, the Wi-Fi, which has the dual band and the five um, gigahertz band as well. Um, I don't know how they list that here, but I know it's on the phone. Um, it says Wi-Fi calling, which is on the Stylo 2 Plus. I don't know if that feature is on the Stylo 3. Um, again, refer to um, Paul Tech's video. Let's see. No HDMI support on this phone. If if you're a big uh, person who likes to plug your phone up to your t television, this phone doesn't have that um, ability, um, as you can see. Um, they they don't have infrared. Higher blasters which support um, TVs and all your electronics. Um, if you want to get an IR blaster phone, check out P that PPTV phone review on my page where I reviewed this amazing phone for the fraction of the price, just like this phone, um, and it had with the amazing features on it. So you could also look here, and you could see that. The internet speed is uh, up to par with some of the best in the um in the in the business. Um, you're gonna see that it's rocking Chrome and Google support and HTML browser as well. That's amazing too. I like how it came with both. Um, it has a Li Ion a Li Ion battery, lithium ion, thirty. 2 milliamps on the stylo 2 I mean 32 milliamps on the stylo 3 and 2900 on the stylo 2 plus uh, no wireless charging in these devices however you can buy one of those wireless charging packs on Amazon and um, pimp out your phone if you wanted to um, fast charging is not included um, talk time, it says here is going to be more on the Stylo 2. However, the talk time is definitely higher on the 3 um, in actuality. On the box, it says 25 hours as opposed to the, the 20 that it says here. So that um, that would be incorrect. So the Stylo 3 would have the advantage on talk time. Um, I thank you guys for run, going through these specs and features with these two phones and I hope this helps when you try to make your decision um, buying the phone the, from the um, from the, either the Boost Mobile or the Metro PCS um, carrier as well. Again, you could check out my other videos um, where I compared these two phones before it was actually released and um now this is the official release in comparison again I, I i hope this helps you and guides you along with your purchase and i definitely recommend the stylo 2 plus it seems like the stylo 3 is right alongside it um with a sharper pen feature but still no real improvement just a uh, uh a finer tip and um, uh, no additional um, features. So 
Thank you for watching. It's your boy Serrano. Please like and subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, you know, press that bell so you can get notifications as well. Um, again, have a great night and I'll check you guys soon. Peace.